Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is May, and today I have a setup video for you. So after you missed it, I recently post my journal flip through of my latest journal that I finished. And so now here is me setting up for my new journal that I plan to use for the rest of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. I have already planned in this journal. I actually have an August plan with me up that is in this journal, but this video is coming late because it took a while for me to edit it. And I kind of did these spreads sporadically as I could do them throughout the week. The theme for like the beginning is this kind of wave. Um, I saw a lot of artwork and I know that Study Quill here on YouTube did have her own theme with a wave that this is kind of similar to as well. This is that similar, not similar, very popular Japanese artist. And so I just kind of recreated that artwork with pencil and then colored it in with my Crayola Super Tips. They're in two different shades of blue just to kind of give contrast. But I kept this wave theme constant throughout and you'll see how I did that by using different designs. This design is really simple. I'm not the most amazing, most complex artist, so I could do this. I think anyone could do this. But yeah, I, um, if you don't already know, I have a tattoo that is kind of the same design. And I feel like this year and all of like last year and the beginning of this year was a time of change. And I felt like I just wanted to reflect on that with the waves of change, which I thought, you know, water, I'm a person whose personality reflects water and water is one of my favorite elements. So I just thought waves would be a perfect start to this journal. It's been a while since I've done a voiceover, so forgive me if I'm a bit rusty, but um, we're coming toward the end of me coloring in, and I think what I go into next is my black Sigma pen. It's a very fine tip, so I can outline things. It's one of my favorite um, pens to use in my journal. I'll link it down below, and I'll try to list all the supplies I use if I don't forget. <laughs> But usually I have a very simple style of using this pen, pictures, and then maybe use Crayola markers. This uh, year I plan to have more journaling videos, but also more videos that have to do with reading and a few book reviews I have coming up. So if you're interested in stuff like that, just make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. YouTube is kind of being very finicky and they're not being very supportive of their creators. I don't know if anyone is all aware of this, but right now the LGBT community is suing Instagram for, I mean, not Instagram. <laughs> They're suing YouTube for uh, discrimination, and there's a lot of issues with people's videos getting demonetized within the LGBT community, true crime, um, even like the beauty community. It's just a huge mess. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm rambling about that. Um, but yeah, so it really helps me out as a creator if you like and subscribe and comment on my videos. But it also helps out your other creators if you do that to their videos. I know that, you know, it's it's a small community on here and we should support people who actually spend time and do creative stuff. And I'm not just saying this like boohoo me. I, I really genuinely just do this for fun, but there are people who put art and effort into their videos that aren't getting as recognized as bigger, more popular videos. So it's just something for you guys to be aware of. Um, going back to what's actually happening on screen, um, I just wrote 2019 2020 at the start and I'm adding details with a white gel pen. I colored in a moon with a golden paint pen. Again, I will try to link that down below. I just wanted these little details to make it pop and I think it was really good. Um, the next page I already filled out 
It was just my year at a glance. I didn't think you guys wanted to see me fill out calendars for like ever. That would have taken forever. It took forever. So here at the bottom, I am doing and continuing that wave design like I told you. So instead of like doing the same wave, I'm doing little mini waves or mini portraits of waves at the bottom and these little squares I think they're each four by four and it starts out with just a calm sea and then it starts rising and then it forms a wave and at the end is the wave like cresting over I kept these up through a lot of the pages I do these on the next pages I thought they just kind of added a little detail that was kind of like a border without having to do like an actual border. I even go in with like a gold pin. I don't know if I do that with this page on camera, but I do it sometime. I go in with a gold pin and trace some patterns in it, mostly just like lines. And I thought that was also another touch. I really like adding gold or like silver or rose gold to my spreads because it just makes it fun to look at and it's shiny and obviously I love things that are shiny <laughs> but yeah that's what I'm doing on this page this really isn't an exciting page at all <laughs> So here I'm writing year at a glance. I didn't stencil these out. I didn't even bother re writing them beforehand. So it's really messy. My handwriting is really bad. And honestly, I don't care. Um, I really only look at these pages to look at the calendar. So if the handwriting's messy, I'm not too upset about it. I do the same thing with another spread. <laughs> this spread actually. So this is a new one. I am copying it from a couple of other people and it's a really popular spread to do. I know Amanda Rach Lee does it. Um, I see it all over Instagram too. It's the grid line spread. So I divided these up into sections so that I can just flip to this page to know how many boxes are in a, a line, like up or down? How many boxes does it take to divide into these little squares? Where is the middle of the page? Where is like the, <laughs> like how many ones do I need to get to halfway down the page? Like it's just kind of a useful spread to flip through to just get exact numbers without having to count every single time when you want to find a certain number of spaces. I'm still really bad at spacing and I feel like I still will be with this spread. I just end up counting boxes for like ever because I can never figure out how big I want it or how small I want it or like what's the size I want. It's so annoying. But anyway, uh, I'll stop complaining about that and Again, I'm just doing the little waves at the bottom. They're exactly the same as I did on the last page, except for in the reverse order. And I put some gold in. But yeah, this page, again, is just, it's new and I will only flip to it when I need it, which is fine. Um, and here's that really messy handwriting. I'm so sorry. I really hate, I hate my like lettering and my calligraphy. I don't hate my handwriting, I just hate having to do titles of stuff because it just looks dumb and I hate it. <laughs> um, so as you can tell by like me flipping, I have actually already done a good bit of these pages, um, but these are my calendars. I'm starting in September even though I started making this and filmed this in August because August will be over by the time I actually like need a calendar if that makes sense. These calendars are also only through Mondays and Fridays because these are for school. So that's another reason why I start in September if that makes sense again. Um, Cause I don't have school in August. I start school 
the last week of August, but mostly it's in September. So I use these calendars to write down assignments, tests, um, important dates, and usually those don't include weekends. Um, my weekend plans, I don't have to prepare in advance most of the time. If I do, I can write them into the calendar I use for the um, month. So that's why these are just the week. Also at the bottom, I did this kind of fish scale design and used my paint marker to color it in. Just to have something at the bottom, I think it was really simple, it was really easy, and it's kind of cute. So you can kind of tell that I did that to September, October, November, and December, and then I stopped. And then these are the last two pages in this plan with me and at the beginning of my journal. I... Hmm. Okay, so I wrote this quote that says, Sometimes in the waves of change, we find our true direction. Sorry, I forgot the end of that. And I thought this was really important, you know, to how I spoke about earlier, like the beginning of this year, and I feel like onward with this year will be a lot of change, and I feel like it's good change, it's not a bad change. Um, I just really kind of like the idea, and so that's why I chose this quote, just to kind of remind me, like, it's good change, and it will lead me towards a better future, if that makes sense. And then, <laughs> this part, I drew some more waves, and another golden sun, but these waves are different, they're more curved, and they're softer, in my opinion. I think they're really pretty, and I liked how this turned out, except for when I used my paint pen, it bled through to the other side, which is where my August plan with me is, and it discolored some of the plan with me, and it made me so sad. Um, I think it's because, and you'll probably see it, I like loaded the paint up on the end, and I didn't realize it, and it just got everywhere. That's where it happened. It just got everywhere, and it was a mess um so if you use paint pens just be careful because they will bleed through and they'll just dump ink everywhere but yeah i mean at least it's pretty and then it didn't ruin my other thing but this is like i said the last page and i should get through to the final flip through pretty soon after i just kind of detail these waves a bit and add some lines um but yeah um i want to thank you guys for listening to me ramble i i said before if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys want have any theme suggestions for any of my next monthly plan with me just let me know and i will see you guys next time bye Sunburst flowers calling on warm days over